Ipecat is divided up into two sections. Elbow strikes, which is the upper body, and kicks, which is obviously the lower body. The positions we're looking for is the straight line, which is our centre line, 45 degree angles, which is our khaki or kick position, and some of the kick positions also. In MP, the body is rotating through those points. So, if I, if I come into this position here, you can see that the kakiyuki is on a 45 degree angle. And yet the elbow strike goes straight up on that center line, which means that the body is rotating 45 degrees and, and back again. If you understand that concept, then that concept can be used in self-defense situations. I, I view this as an excellent self-defense kata. Would you be using it in Sanshin in a self-defense? Maybe not. Maybe you will be. Maybe you'll be using Shikadach. Maybe you will be in between stances. But if this, this is a training concept. And by training the, the concept and the principles, what we're doing is we're, we're, we're hardwiring those concepts and principles into our bodies and into our brains. So, you know, by training something which is structured, something you can go back to, something you can observe and develop, means that something you can adapt. You can't adapt something that which you haven't already got. So even though we're going to be using San Shin stance work, then this has developed power into the lower body, you can use this in many, many different ways. Like I said before, you cannot use something that you haven't trained. So this is a structured, formal way of training. So you can break it apart and use it any way you want to use it. If I use it, say, in a structured way here, and I'm using this 45 degree angle and taking this position here and back onto centre line. This may be the same position in here when I use the elbow strike up like this. I'm at 45 degree angle here, or I come round with an elbow strike here, or I may drop here. I may kick through like this at 45, or do a front kick or a knee strike elbow and work this way. But these are all 45 degree angles and straight lines. So I'm pulling out of something here and creating something from a very structured way of training. Kiyoki, notice I've rotated this way, pulling back the fist. Lift, elbow strike, body turn 45, back center, circle through. Kiyuki, body, turn 45, center, circular step, Kakiyuki, round. Now from here, I literally just turn the body back because the hand is already on the center line as the elbow drops through here. Catch, circle round. Now this time, yes, it's a thrust. My body's at 45 degree angle to work this elbow strike coming down, which is actually coming across and raking down on that center line. Now, yes, it is a thrust, but because it's coming from this direction, think of it more like a chop before it becomes a thrust. Then step back, drop, thrust, up, drop, center line. Kakiyuki, back, center, catch, one, two, center. Now this is going to have a reference point to Naihanchi also, a little bit later on. Check, toes, check, sinking down. So, right side forwards. I finished the elbow section. Now I create this upper body positioning like this. So my upper body positioning side on is here. When I'm doing the knee strikes and the kicks, I'm now pulling the hips 
forwards at that point here. I have to change the foot position to drive the knee up. So I drive the knee forwards as I pull slightly through the hands. Now when I do this, I'm not doing a high kick. I'm taking all the kicks low. So when we're kicking here, like an MP, these are all low kicks. The side kick, the knee strikes are in quite low, the knee strikes are quite low. So it's nothing to do with these high kicks up this end. The elbows are working here and here, and I'm using the knee strikes in close, in conjunction with the kicks, which are also quite low here. So that's the idea of MP. So I'm moving into this next section here. I drive the knee forwards, kick, and stamp back. So again, knee forwards, kick, stamp back. From here, knee forwards, kick, stamp back. Take my position, there's the knee strike. My knee strike is in, the kick, stamp, hook. Go through here, kick, change the angle for side, and use the oblique kick. So when I'm looking for this angle here, it's the knee strike going forwards, the kick goes forwards, the back kick straight back. Now it's here where I'm pulling up through here at this point. This is like an, this is very similar to Muay Thai boxing. Uh, if a kick's coming in, I can jam that kick here with that knee. So once the knee is in this position here, which could be a jamming technique, then I'm looking at the kick at a 45 degree angle, which is a Migasuki Geri, before I go into the stamping side kick, which is Sakoto Fumi Komi at that point, which I'm striking straight down through at that angle here. Once I've done that side, then it repeats on this side. Remember the positions at 45 degree angles. Can't say that enough. So from the right side, I drive through, one, knee, back kick. Here, I bring the knee through, kick, stamp, oblique kick. Now I work this position here on the right side. Knee up, kick, stamp. Come through here, kick, stamp, oblique kick. There is one other kick which you can put in, which is after the knee comes up, kick, and stamp is this hooking kick here, because once I've hooked up, I bring this through, and once I bring this through, I can do this kick, change the angle, stamp, and then thrust across at a 45 degree angle. Now, when you thrust across at a 45 degree angle, this is the same position as you step with in my hand. So you can place the, all these forms together to create hundreds and thousands and different techniques and, and, and different positions, uh, different you know, applications. So, quick recap. Knee comes up, kick, stamp back, hook through. Now as you hook through here, now I'm bringing the knee, 45, kick, stamp. Sokoto Fumi Kami and a bleep kick. That covers that line there, and then we go into the last section. So I create the two kakiyukis. Knee strike goes to the corner. Kick, stamp back, move across. Knee strike, kick, stamp back, and then finish the form here. So I'm looking at changing the angle position by rotating the feet, rotating the hip, create torque. Pull through, one, kick. Rotate the body, pull the hip through, and stamp. Knee, kick, stamp, and then finish your form. So here we have the catch, we have the knee strike coming through, and after the knee strike, you have the kick and the stamp back. Now I'm lifting the foot for a hook, swinging through, make a sukigiri, stamp. I'm now using an oblique kick across by using the side of the foot. And then I repeat at this right side positioning, 
knee strike, kick, stand back. Now from here I'm going to hop through and get the Mimisuki Gary positioning. This could be a, uh, a knee strike, it also could be a deflection, but I'm also in the position to work the kick followed by the stab and then the oblique kick. Now I'm coming through with the kakiyuki here, and I'm kind of rotating the hips at a 45 degree angle. The knee strike is coming up, like so, and once I get the knee strike up, I then can perform the kick, and stand back, come to this position, I'm rotating the hip, I'm coming up for the knee strike, one, kick, and stand, and finish your form. So, Knee position, kick position, step position. Rotate the foot. Knee position, kick position, stamp. So it's all geared up by rotation of the waist. Um, taking the foot position here, rotating, creating torque, and driving that knee forwards, first of all. And once you've driven that knee forwards, like this, then I take the kick because the knee position is actually the kick positioning. So knee position, then kick, one, kick, step back. A hopping technique if I choose to use it in that way. But once the foot's up, I then turn the hips to get this position in here for the Migasuki Gary. So I'm ready. Recap, knee strike goes to the center, like so. Kick goes forward, so knee, kick, stamp. Hook, turn through, kick, stamp. A big kick, move up my hatchy step. And then from here, we can take the, the right side of the body, center line, kick, stamp back, hook through, Come through the knee jam here. Megisuki Gary Sakato Fubikami. A blue kick. And then we use the kakiyuki position to, to rotate the hip. I'm pulling through. There's the knee. Sakato Fubikami. Or stamping kick. Here's the knee strike. With Mawashi Gary coming through. And this is the stamping back. And go to the neutral position. Which is 50-50. And as we do this... You come through to this point and circle. So we have one, two, one, two, back to center and circle to finish your fall. Taking MP strategies here and looking at how the MP works. The upper body is working the elbow strikes through here. Center line is being maintained as you work through these points here. Knee strikes can be coming through. And these are all pulling techniques for the upper body. Um, the lower body is working all the oblique kicks here. It's working the Migasuki Gary's and the Washi Gary's coming through at this angle here. So in conjunction here, all of this is working quite low. The hook kicks are coming back this way. Elbow strikes high through the middle. Low, knee, knee, low kicks, hook kicks, oblique kicks, Sokoto, Fumikami, center line. We've got the Kakiyokis here and here, guarding also with this part of the arm here for the lower shots. Um, you know, use your imagination. But train those skills in, develop those body positions. Knee strike, in 
rear punch, front punch, rear punch, cat looking, knee strike, in peace, and back. Front jab, rear jab, kakiyoki, knee strike, upward elbow, and back to guard. Front jab, rear jab, kakiyoki, knee strike, elbow. Front jab, rear jab, catch, knee strike, drop. Combination. Rear punch, front punch, rear punch, catch, knee strike. Now, any elbow you like, you could be using mawashi, tape, toshi, any elbow you like. Um, but we're taking a different combination. We're taking a combination of footwork, rear punch, front punch, rear punch, driving back. Knee strike, elbow, and back, one, two, three, catch, knee strike, and drop. 